library It's a place where I love to be Look in a book, here's a story for you Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers Working through the night till the rising sun Story makers, story makers Stories are fabulous, stories are fun Milton Wordsworth Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun Story makers, story makers Stories are fabulous, stories are fun Come with me a story Hello. Has everybody gone? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Milton Wordsworth, story maker and a magical maestro, at your service. Milton, Milton, come and make some stories. Oh, oh yes, can we make some stories about toys? Mm. Of course we can. What an excellent inspiration. Do you ever get bored waiting for someone to come and play with you? Hmm? Well, come and have an adventure with me. There we go, Teddy. Bye-bye. You'll enjoy this. Ready with the magic words? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Jelly, you've made a playbook, and it's called Where's Bear? Grace and Digger the Bear loved going to nursery. Hey, what about me? This isn't going to be much fun, said Digger as Grace rushed in to meet her friends. Just then, Tyler arrived. He spotted Digger sitting on the peg. He picked him up and took him in to meet everybody. The children were playing dressing up games. Tyler decided to dress up Digger. But after a while, Tyler wanted to play with something else, and he left Digger lying on the floor. Lassian spotted Digger and scooped him up. She took him outside to do some finger painting. Into the paint went Digger's paws, dib, dob, dab. Painting is great, said Digger. But then Lassian got bored and poor Digger was left behind again. Stanley was on his way to the slide when he saw Digger. Perhaps Digger would like a go, he thought. Whee! went Digger as he slid down the slide. But when Stanley got to the bottom, he forgot Digger. Oh no! Luckily, Arya was playing on the swings. Perhaps Digger would like a go, she thought. Swing, swing, swing. But then it started to rain. Arya ran inside as quickly as she could, and guess what? She dropped poor Digger. But not to worry. Frank spotted this and picked up Digger. He was going to do some cookery. In with the icing sugar and the red colouring. Give it a good stir. Oops. Digger was getting covered in icing. Ice the buns, everybody. Oh no, Digger has fallen on the floor. Who's going to rescue him now? Fortunately, Natasha spotted Digger. The day was nearly over. She quickly undressed him and placed him back on Grace's peg. Phew, thought Digger. What a great day! It was home time. Grace came to get her coat. Oh, there you are, Digger. You poor thing, you must have been very lonely today. <laughs> Digger laughed. 
<laughs> I found this in the box. It's a great toy. Would you like to march with me? Why, yeah. certainly. I'm going to play the drums. <laughs> oh, oh, Milton, I don't want a musical instrument. I'll just sing, thanks. You can join in if you like. <clears throat> oh, the Grand old Duke of York, he had ten thousand men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go and put this in the story machine. <laughs> Join in with the magic words. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Oh, great. It's a sniff and wag story. And it's called Shiny Brass Tubes. Sniff and Wag are friends. When the day ends and the sky grows dark, they sneak into the park through a hole in the fence. One night, while the dogs are taking their walk, they hear strange sounds from across the park. The bandstand seems to be glowing in the dark. They cannot believe their eyes. The bandstand is crammed with shiny tubes of all different sizes. Then suddenly, an instrument appears. Hello, Sniff and Wag, I'm Bet the Cornet. My high notes thrill, but I'm not too shrill. Let me introduce some of my friends to you. She leads Sniff and Wag to the bandstand. First meet the horns with their mellow tones. Frank the French horn, Sydney the sax, and Yuri the euphonium. Give us a blast, lads. Mmm, that's smashing. Oh, and here's Rona the trombone. She's a bit of a magician. Give us a riff, Rona. That's right. Right on. This is Brad, the big bass drum. He keeps the beat. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, there's someone else I'd like you to meet, says Bet. Oh, but hold on. Where's Una the tuba? Has anyone seen her? Oh, there she is. But something is wrong. Una the tuba looks very glum. What's up, Chuck? Asks the cornet. Blast her some notes. Una tries, but nothing comes out. Try again, girl, blares the cornet. Give it more puff. Suddenly, something fluffy shoots out of her bell and into the air. Mick the mouse has been sleeping in there. Oh, Mick, that's no place to sleep, says the cornet. Mick is the leader of the band. He waves a baton in his hand, says the cornet. It's very tiring work, Mick squeaks. That's why I need plenty of sleep. Now... It's half past nine, which is concert time. Let us begin, says Mick the Mouse. They start with a blast that startles the stars because it sounds so bright and loud. <gasps> Isn't it thrilling, Sniff Woofs? The brass band plays such a joyous tune that it puts a smile on the face of the moon. The snappy beat is neat. Now Una is happy. <gasps> brass bands are grand, yaps Wag with glee. Thank you, everyone. And with a pomp to yom pomp, pom pom, they march all the way home. Good night. Sleep tight, my little friends. Tomorrow we will play again. Look, oh. the children have drawn pictures of their favourite toys. Yeah, look at that green monster toy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look at that yes. underneath. It's your favourite. My favourite toy. A kite. <laughs> Shall we put it in the story machine? Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. Are you ready to join in? Yes, yes. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine, imagine a story. And it's called Blue Cow and the Kite. In a field not so far away from you is a herd of cows grazing quietly. But one of the cows is different from the rest. Blue Cow wonders. Wonders what on earth is out there in the big wide world beyond her field. 
One day, Blue Cow spotted a kite bobbing along in the sky above her. Oh, I wonder where that beautiful kite's going. The other cows sighed and shook their heads. She's off again. I wonder, said Blue Cow. Well, I'll never know unless I go. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a return ticket to the place where kites fly, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for Windy Hill. And then they arrived. When Blue Cow got off the bus, she could hardly believe her eyes. Everywhere she looked, she saw children flying kites. Kites of all shapes and sizes. Stripy triangular kites. Tartan diamond kites. Kites in the shape of birds. Kites in the shape of cows. There were even kites that looked like dinosaurs. Hello," said a rather stringy voice. "Welcome to the kite flying festival. Would you like to join in?" "Oh, I'd love to, but I haven't got a kite." "You can borrow one of mine. I've got plenty. I'm Mr. String, the kite man, by the way." Blue Cow chose a kite in the shape of a fried egg. "Oh, thank you very much, Mr. String." <laughs> She held on tight to the string, whilst Mr. String threw the fried egg kite up into the sky. All at once, the kite was flying. Blue Cow was so excited she mooed with delight. Moo! Hold on tight. There's a bit of a wind getting up. Advised Mr. String, and he was right. The wind blew stronger and stronger. Blue Cow could barely hold on to her kite. It tugged and dragged and danced and whipped until, with one particularly strongest of wind, the kite shot off into the sky. And so did Blue Cow. She flew over the hill. Oh, help, Mr. String! And over some trees. And over some houses. Help me! Past a town. Across a river, <laughs> and over a mountain, the kite flew Blue Cow all the way round the world until she arrived back at Windy Hill. Luckily, at that moment, the wind dropped, and Blue Cow found herself gliding down to the ground. Everyone was cheering. Ooh, wow! <laughs> This kite flying is very exciting," she said as she landed beside Mr. String. Oh, congratulations, Blue Cow! You are the first cow to go around the world on a fried egg. Are you sure you haven't done this before? Ooh, beginner's luck, I suppose. <laughs> oh, oh, Milton, look! Oh. oh, it's time for us to go. But, but, but I want my teddy. But of course, you put it into the machine. Yes. Oh, hello, Teddy. The dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories, and we bid you goodbye. Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous. Stories are fun. Bye, story makers. See you again soon.